Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow librarians at home and abroad, and also to our partners and friends and those who believe in our leadership skill and our call to leadership. I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever you are around the world. You are welcome to another edition of Liberia Rising with Sam Abel Benson. There are two creatures in the Bible that God often compares his leadership characteristics to in relation to human being. To be a great and successful leader, one must understand the two creatures. They are the lion and the eagle. But today we want to talk about the eagle. We'll take another time to talk about the lion. I think in one of the teachings we've talked about the lion before, but we want to talk about the eagle. To be a great and a successful leader, not an average leader. I talk about an average leader. To be a great and a successful leader, you know, you need to understand the characteristics of these two creatures, the lion and the eagle. So today we want to talk briefly about the eagle and we'll be discussing the rebirth of the eagle. Isaiah 40, 31 from the King James Version, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 says, But they that wait, know the word wait, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not faint. They shall, they, they that wait shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The eagle is a king of birds. The eagle, the eagle is a king of birds. That's why you see the U.S. would take the United States of America have the bull eagle as their national symbol. The only creature that looks directly at the sun because they have a super extra powerful eyes is the king of birds and it looks directly at the sun without the sun damaging the eyes. About 500 feet away, it is able to see a fish the size of 30 inches swimming in the ocean. About 500 feet away, the eagle can see the fish 30 inches. About three inches, like the, like the size of this finger, swimming in the ocean. That, that's vision. It sees far ahead. It doesn't look beneath. It sees ahead. About 1,000 feet away, it can locate a grasshopper in the grass that is six inches tall. Can you imagine that? About 1,000 feet. It sees the little details with you in leadership. When you make decisions, do you think about, do, does your decision reflect those little villages where we walk for hours, four, five, six, seven, eight hours to go see? The decisions you make, do they reflect their lives, their livelihood, their health, their access to education and social welfare and, 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 and healthcare delivery? Some of them have got no access to safe drinking water. The eagle sees a grasshopper from, from a thousand feet away in the grass that is six inches tall. That's how much is given the details. Do your decision reflect the, 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 the Shushan boys out there in the street? The one we call Zogos? The generation that were damaged by this senseless civil war? A, a, the rebirth on, on, onto this nation that our leadership can have a rebirth compared to that of the eagle of uh, this nation we going nowhere in as much as we positive about this nation we confess it and we pray it there has to be the rebirth of an attitude of leadership you said in the offices in your cabinet meeting at the legislative sections can, can imagine at the at the at the at the temple of justice or the the the, the, the supreme court and magisterial court uh, whatever whatever it can be the decisions you make do you think about these people you call them the ordinaries the masses that will ride them to sources like asses you know donkey actually that's what I mean yeah. 
we ride them. And when we enter in to sources, then we tie them by the door. They, they can't enter with us. It has the ego has the most patient and endurance of all creatures. By the time an ego reaches the age of 30 or so, its physical condition begins to deteriorate. As a result, its survival becomes difficult. It, it, it listen, it tenders lose their flexibility and cannot properly grip their, their prey. It breaks, it beaks, the beaks, the beak of the ego becomes dull and bent, and its wing feathers grow thick and heavy, stick it to its chest, and while impairing its flight, the bird then retreats to a mount, mounting top. Now you hear the scripture say, They that wait upon the Lord shall shall renew their strength as the bird gets older. Guess what happened? Because there is something I want you to understand here. Because the ego has a locking tendon, a strong core like bay joining the muscles to the bone. This allows it to soar and mount above the wing. So as they begin to get older, what happened? It, it, it begins to get weak and its strength deteriorates. The ability to, 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 to fetch off its breed, it gets weaker, and, you know, and, and thus, thus affecting its flight. Then the bird retreats to a mountainous place at the mountain top, where over a period of about six months, it, it subsequently knocks off its beak by banking it against a rock, plugs out its Tenants, and then pluck out his feathers or allow the feathers to, to drop off. And you know, each stage producing a regrowth of the removed body parts that renews the ego and allow it to live for another 10 to 40 years. This, this stage renews the ego and allow it to live for another 10 to 40 years. But within that six month period, it's not drinking, it's not eating anything, but they that will, that's a rebirth process. Brother, if, if Liberia, rising must be powerful, pa, 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 uh, how you call it? Possible. And I know Liberia rising works, but beloved, we need a rebirth in leadership. We, leaders need to go back within themselves. Leaders need to work within themselves because what you don't have, you don't give. You see, sometimes one must share the past in order to move forward. In order to rebuild, you must first tear down. That's why the scripture said, He said, Jeremiah said the whole nation to, to pluck up, to remove, to tear down, and to rebuild. Some of the systems we're working with are outdated. They don't match up with contemporary realities. We need to tear them down. But to do that, we need leadership that have been rebirthed. You see, this, this is a spiritual principle that doesn't make sense in, in, in this world of reasoning, experimentation, and observation. Our whole world, that, 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 that's, that's a titty word it hangs around. Reasoning observation and experimentation imagine when adam and eve ate the fruit they saw that it was good good for food it was desirable for making one wise they decided to go for it that's why the word so some of these things don't make sense to the word that's why something can be true about life when it comes to the things of god it is irrelevant he said they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they will mount up with wings as ego like i said because of that lacking tendons Ego doesn't sit around and complain. It is a high flyer. You see, ego doesn't sit. It's not, you don't find ego among the ordinary birds. It doesn't sit around and complain. We got leaders who are complaining. They complain every day. They complain about the budget. They complain about opposition. They complain about the economy. They complain about themselves. They just complain about everything. Ego is a high flyer. It's up there. It's soared above the wing. Is at a height where all the birds don't get. That's what makes it exceptional leader. That's what makes it the king of the birds. What quality do you have that you call yourself a leader that distinguishes you from the rest of your people, from the rest, from follower? What's your attitude? Listen to me, people. Liberal rising. 
I believe in the Liberia rising. And I believe the rising of the new Liberia is possible if we can have leadership rebirth like that of the eagle. We need to have leadership rebirth. We need to have leadership transformation. Our leaders need to be rebirthed. That's the only way Liberia rising is possible. If this motivational video is an inspiration to you, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel, Liberia Rising. Sam Evil Bensey. You can share, you can like, you can leave your comment as to how we can improve this channel. Bless you. Like your rising world.